Hello guys welcome to my channel, I am here again, with an another amazing video. Why does Earth stay in orbit around the Sun? How does light travel? What holds atoms and nuclei together? For centuries scientists have sought to describe the forces that dictate interactions on the largest and smallest scales from planets to particles. They understand that there are four fundamental forces, gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces that are responsible for shaping the universe we inhabit. So let's discuss about them in detail here. Gravitational force. The most familiar force is gravity. It is responsible for keeping our feet on the ground and holding Earth in its orbit around the Sun. According to the general theory of relativity, gravity can be understood as bands and curves in the fabric of spacetime that affect the motions of galaxies, stars, planets, and even light. Anything with mass makes a dent in spacetime, causing objects to be attracted to each other. Gravity is an attractive force that draws two objects together. Despite being the weakest force, gravity works across infinite distances making it responsible for the formation of the universe's structure. Electromagnetic force. Our television sets are powered by electromagnetism. Light carries this force, which illuminates our houses at night, keeps electrons in orbit around atomic nuclei and allows chemical compounds to form. As the name implies, electromagnetism is the force that includes both electricity and magnetism. They are intertwined, a moving electric field produces a magnetic field, and vice versa. Electromagnetism only comes into play for charged objects, and whether it attracts or repels depends on the charges of each. Two negative or positive charges repel each other, one of each attracts. While electromagnetism is stronger than gravity, it is often balanced out in large objects by the equal numbers of positive and negative charges that form neutral atoms. For example, Earth has a magnetic field due to electric currents in its liquid core, however, Earth itself is electrically neutral. Weak nuclear force. The weak force is responsible for interactions between subatomic particles, the tiny particles that are the building blocks for matter, like protons, neutrons, and electrons. In particular, the weak force can change one quark type into another. Protons and neutrons are made of two quark varieties up and down. The weak force can turn a down quark in a neutron into an up quark, which would change the neutron into a proton and switch its electric charge from neutral to positive. If that neutron were in the nucleus of an atom, the change to a proton would turn that atom into a different type of element. Such reactions are happening all the time in our sun, giving it the energy to shine. This type of action also occurs in radioactive decay, which happens when atoms spontaneously shed energy and subatomic particles. Strong nuclear force. At the level of an atomic nucleus, the strong force holds together the protons and neutrons that form the essence of the element. On an even smaller scale, the strong force originates in a property known as color. This property, which has no connection with color in the visual sense of the word, is somewhat analogous to electric charge. Just as electric charge is the source of electromagnetism or the electromagnetic force, so color is the source of the strong force. Particles with color, principally the quarks, do feel the strong force. Quantum chromodynamics, the quantum field theory, describing strong interactions, takes its name from this central property of color. Protons and neutrons are examples of baryons, a class of particles that contain three quarks, and it seems that the strong force allows only combinations with zero color to exist. In strong interactions the quarks exchange gluons, the carriers of the strong force. Gluons, like photons the messenger particles of the electromagnetic force, are massless particles with a whole unit of intrinsic spin, and gluons carry color, as suggested by its name. The strong force is the strongest of the fundamental forces. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment and share this video. Also don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos like this.